NASA have just announced they're going to hold a massive event, and during this they will be releasing some major news about our moon. As of right now, the space agency is keeping the announcement under wraps, but they will be releasing the news very soon. Going on to say the following, it contributes to NASA's efforts to learn about the moon in support of deep space exploration. End quote. It is reported that this discovery has come from the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, also known as SOFIA. This SOFIA is an aircraft that has on board various instruments. NASA said the following in their announcement. Because the plane is able to get above 99% of the atmosphere's water vapour, which normally obscures our view of space, the flying observatory is able to pick up phenomena impossible to see with visible light. End quote. As of right now, people have been giving their opinions on what they think the announcement will include, with many saying that it will most likely be linked to the upcoming moon mission. Recently, NASA have announced they're working hard to try and get astronauts on the lunar south pole, and they hope to do this by the year 2024. NASA is looking at putting the first woman on the moon within 2024, and a few months back they said they're looking forward to getting the Trojan astronauts on the moon as soon as possible, but that they want to make sure that everything is working fine before they go ahead. One thing that NASA wants to do is to ensure as many tests as possible are being carried out, before they go ahead and give the green light. The tests that the cross have been through have all been successful, and it does seem like if things keep going this way, humans will be back on the moon by 2024. Some Facebook users though have gone down a different route, suggesting that NASA may have found life on the moon, or evidence that it once existed there, with one user saying the following, If there's life on Earth, is it really that unlikely that there's life on the moon? I've read stories that bacteria could be living there, and technically that's life. So would that count as aliens being on the moon? If not, perhaps it's something else. It's strange how they're making people speculate. End quote. Recently, scientists have carried out a variety of tests on the moon. NASA officials and researchers have often attempted to theorize the contents of the moon, as well as its surface materials ever since the beginning of the space age, and efforts to retrieve lunar materials were made there was hope that the moon would prove to be a far more capable life-bearing body, as it's the closest celestial body to Earth. However, evidence retrieved from the moon after the original moon landings proved that estimates could not be more incorrect. Unlike our planet, the moon is not protected by a magnetic field of any kind, and is consistently bombarded by a significant amount of helium-3, as a product of solar wind radiation. It's this constant bombardment that would lead to the lack of any life brain developments on the moon of any kind, including any attempt at finding naturally occurring water on the surface of the moon. Oddly enough, however, recent satellite imaging has provided what the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has referred to as unambiguous data that shows evidence of large reservoirs of water on the surface of the moon. The satellite evidence published in the September 25th issue of the journal Science provided details that residing deep in lunar craters that are always shadowed from solar radiation, there are large pockets of ice that could store enough water to allow for the establishment of permanent lunar bases. The existence of these ice craters provides evidence that water molecules on the moon are incredibly mobile, allowing them to find their way to the craters and gathering at the bottom. In fact, planetary geologist Carl Peters said the following, If the water molecules are as mobile as we think they are, even a fraction of them, they provide a mechanism for getting water to those permanent shadow craters, then this opens a whole new avenue of lunar research, but we have to understand the physics of it to utilize it. End quote. Not only does this discovery have profound implications for lunar research, and planetary geology, but it also provides enough evidence and supports for the establishment of lunar colonization, and could see itself in use within the next few decades, as NASA has been working on their Moon to Mars mission, 
that will use our orbital satellite as a launching point for rocketry and further colonization of the Martian surface. NASA is at the forefront of space exploration. They've been vocal about how they want to carry on sending humans and robots into the cosmos, and that hopefully in the near future, we'll even have bases on the Moon and Mars. These missions have only inspired people to look to the stars and dream about the wonders that it holds. It's very likely that humans will land on the red planet within many of our lifetimes, with other space agencies saying they're looking at sending many of us to this planet. For example, SpaceX has announced their plans to send over 1 million people to Mars by 2050. Not only this, but they plan to build an actual city for these people, in the hopes that a new civilization can be started. This in turn has got a lot of people excited. Elon Musk stated in various tweets that the end goal is to get 1 million people on Mars within the next few decades, and he hopes that over 1,000 starships can be built to help him achieve this. He goes on to say that the goal is to be able to launch several of these starships a day, so that trips to Mars can be open all the time. Elon went on to say the following, it needs to be such that anyone can go if they want, with loans available for those who don't have money. There will be a lot of jobs on Mars. So what do you make of this news by NASA? And what do you think the announcement is about? Do you think it has something to do with upcoming missions? Or do you think that NASA found something on the moon they're going to disclose? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.